Hey guys, welcome to a quick tutorial on how to create an image zoom effect using CSS and JavaScript. Want to add some effects to your image gallery or online shop? Here are a few ways to add an image zoom effect using pure CSS and JavaScript. No third party libraries required. Let's get on with the first method, which is also the easiest. Start by creating the image tag as usual. Then in the CSS, we set the width and height on the image. For the zoom effect itself, we will simply scale the image on mouse hover. Lastly, at the transition, let CSS do the animation magic. That's it for the hover zoom. But as you can see, the image will expand outside its boundaries. To contain the zoom within the box, we will need an alternative version. Start by creating two HTML divs. On the outer div, we will set a fixed dimension. and use overflow hidden to hide the scroll bars. Then, set the image as the background on the internal div. Lastly, same old trick, scale the image on mouse hover. This next method is good for you guys who have a mini gallery to click on an image to show it in full size. First, lay the image thumbnails out. Then add two HTML div for the light box. On the outer div, we will set it to fixed position and 100% viewport size. This will turn it into a full page overlay. But of course, we will hide this overlay by default by adding opacity 0 and hidden visibility. To show the overlay, we will be using JavaScript to toggle the dot .show CSS class later. Next, for the inner div, we will use it to contain the full size selected image. To horizontally center the image, we will simply use text align center. To vertically center the image, we use a CSS trick to position 50% from the top, then offset it back using minus 50% translate Y. As for the size of the image itself, set it to 100% width, auto height. Also, set a max width or max height if you want to restrict the image dimensions. We are now done with the CSS and now need some JavaScript to close the loop. On window load, we will seek out all the image thumbnails. Attach a click listener to open it in full size. Also, close the full screen overlay on click 2.
The zoom mechanism is straightforward. We get the selected image itself, create a clone, attach it to the light box, and just show the light box. That's it for the light box and here is the final method, a follow zoom using javascript. But first, credits go to cssscript.com for this one. Start by creating an HTML div thumbnail. Set the image background. Then comes the difficult JavaScript part. On window load, we seek out the image div. Get the image source URL Then create a new image object How the follow zoom works is pretty much brutal math. But essentially, we calculate the percentage aspect ratio first. Then, as the mouse moves over the thumbnail, we use the mouse X and Y position to recalculate the background size and position. Yes, we are essentially recalculating and applying CSS styles on the fly as the mouse moves. Finally, as the mouse leaves the thumbnail, we just remove the background position, revert it back to its original state. That's it for this tutorial and please give this video a thumbs up if it helped. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more and see you in the next one.